Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. And now I'm going to answer now question number seven from the October 2023 Pure Mathematics P2 International A-Level Edexcel exam. And here we have a question about circles and equations of circles. We're told that figure two shows a sketch of the circle C with center X, four minus three. I have the diagram here. So we don't have to keep scrolling up and down. The line L with the equation Y equals five over two x minus 52, 55 over 2. Let me write that a bit neater somewhere over, over here. So y equals 5 over 2x. So this is the equation of the line y equals 5 over 2x and minus 55 over 2. That's the equation of that line. Um, given that the line L is a tangent to C at the point N, so it's a tangent to the circle at the point N, show that an equation for the straight line passing through x and N is given by this formula here. So the line that passes through x and n, the straight line that passes through x and n, is going to be a tangent to the circle at n. Okay, because the tangent and the normal will meet at right angles. And the line passing through the center of the circle, which touches the circle at n, where the tangent is, will always be a right angle. The, tan the You can say the radius always meets the circle at the point where there's a tangent to the circle at right angles. So this angle definitely is going to be a right angle because this is like the radius, xn is the radius. So the, the angle between xn and l must be um, 90 degrees. So we can say the line l is perpendicular to xn. Okay, the line l is perpendicular to xn for sure. Right, so that's definitely a right angle. So I know therefore that the gradient of line l is equal to the negative or times the gradient of the line let me call this the line n okay is going to be equal to negative one okay so the gradient of let's call this t tangent the gradient of the tangent times the gradient of of the of the normal is going to be negative one because lines that are perpendicular the product of their gradients is negative one we can also say the gradient of the normal we're trying to find is a negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. So we can see here from this, the gradient of the tangent, the gradient of this line is going to be five over two. Therefore, the gradient of the normal is going to be the negative reciprocal. So we turn it upside down and we change its sign. So it's minus two over five. Okay, so the gradient of the tangent is five over two. The gradient of the normal is minus two fifths. Okay, and we know also the normal passes through the point x, which is four, negative three. And as I said, the gradient of the normal is going to be minus two fifths. That's enough information for us to write down or to find the equation of the um, line. So to find the equation of the line, we're going to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. To find the equation of a straight line, we need two things, a point it passes through and its gradient, and we have those two things. So y minus minus three equals m, which is minus two-fifths, sorry, that's a bad writing, minus two-fifths, because the gradient, remember, was minus two-fifths of the, of the normal, so minus two-fifths times x minus four. Okay, so this gives you y plus three, y plus three equals minus two-fifths times x minus four, multiply both sides by five, get five y plus 15, equals and now multiply both sides or multi expand the bracket here so you have minus 2x and plus 8 so we want to end up with this so i have can i can add 2x to both sides so i have 2x the 5y is already there and i've got 15 minus 8 which is plus 7 equals 0 so that's how that becomes that and we have now got the answer to this question okay so we've got 2x plus 5y plus 7 equals 0 so we, we found the equation of the line which passes through x and n, and that is basically the normal to the, to the circle. Okay, so there's part A done. For part B, it says, hence find the coordinates of n and an equation for the circle C. So to find the coordinates of n, we can find where these two lines intersect. Okay, we can find the, where these two lines intersect. So what we need to do is we can solve them simultaneously. So I'm going to call this equation 1 and this equation 2. Equation 1, I'm going to multiply it by 2 to get rid of the fraction. 
So equation 1 multiplied by 2 gives me 2y equals 5x minus 55. And here I'm going to have 5y equals minus 2x minus 7. So I've got these two equations, which I can try to solve simultaneously. Well, what I could do here is I could, for example, make the x's the same, or I can make the y's the same, or I could use substitution. I think maybe um, making the, let's make the x's the same. If I make the x's the same, I have to multiply this by 2 and multiply this by 5, in which case I'm going to get 4y equals 10x minus 110. And in this case is going to be multiplied by 5, I'll have 25y equals minus 10x, and I'm going to have minus 35. It's 5 times minus 7. So these two I can add together. That gives me 29y equals this becomes 0. And I'm going to, if I add them together, I have negative 145. Okay, so y will be what? y will be negative 145 over 29, which gives us minus 145 divided by 29. 29, sorry. That gives us negative 5. It's equal to negative 5. So y is going to be uh, negative 5. Okay, so that's the y coordinate of the point n, which looks good because it's negative, right? And the x coordinate we can find by using one of these two equations. Let's use this equation here. Okay, um, let's use this equation here, for example. So we have 2x equals minus 5y minus 7. Okay, so we can say 2x equals minus 5 times minus 5 minus 7, so 2x equals minus 35, minus 7, which is minus 42, which is plus 35, sorry, minus 7, which is 28. Okay, so uh, 35 minus 7 is 28, so x equals 14. Okay, so we're going to have n, the quantities of n are 14 for x, and minus 5 for y. 14 minus 5 are the coordinates of the point n, Okay, and that's that part done. Let's make sure y is minus 5. So 2x, 2x equals minus 5y minus 7. So minus 5 times minus 5 is positive 25. Positive, sorry. I've made a silly mistake there. So those of you who have spotted it will probably think, what's he doing? Okay, no problem. We'll sort that out. So here we're going to have 2x equals 25 minus 7. So 2x equals uh, 25 minus 7, which is going to be 18. So x equals positive 9. So we can see here the coordinates of the point n are actually nine and negative five. Okay, so that's corrected now. Sorry about that. Nine and negative five all make mistakes. So as long as we spotted that mistake on time, good. So th those are the coordinates of the point n. And then from there, we can work out the equation for C, a circle. Equation of circle needs two things. One, we need to know the center of the circle. Okay, the center of the circle is going to be four, negative three. And we need the radius of the circle. Now, to find the radius of the circle, we can find the magnitude of the length between x and n. Okay, so we can say the radius of the circle, the radius of the circle is equal to the magnitude of xn, which is equal to the square root of, and we're going to have the difference between the, um, the x coordinates, so you have 4 minus 5, 4 minus 9, so you have 4 minus 9 squared plus and the difference between the y coordinates, which are going to be minus 3, minus, minus 5, so you have minus 3 plus 5 squared. Okay, so you have um, 4 minus 9, all squared, and then minus 3 minus, minus 5, which is minus 3 plus 5, all squared.
Okay, so this is going to give you the square root of, that's going to be 5 squared, which is 25, plus 2 squared, which is 4, which is root 29. So the radius is going to be the square root of 29. Therefore, the equation of the center of the circle, okay, we can use this form, um, the equation of the circle, sorry. We need the center and the radius. We know the center is minus 4, 3. Is that right? No, so, sorry. So, some mistakes. 4 minus 3. The center is 4 minus 3. And the radius is root 29. And the equation is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. So, we have x minus the x coordinate here. So, x minus 4 squared plus, I'm going to have y minus, and you're going to have here, minus 3. y minus minus 3, which is y plus 3 squared equals r squared, which is going to be 29. Okay, and there we have the answer to this last part of the question. Just, um, you know, bear with my mistake there at that, that point. I think I put my, I said minus 5 times minus 5 is 35 for some, some reason. I think I was looking at the 7. Anyway, we went back and corrected it. Everything's all, all's well that ends well. So we got the right answer at the end. And there we have the answer for question seven, part B. Um, and that in concludes this question. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here in this region. Other questions from the topic of angle, sorry, circle, circle, uh, circle equations can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And the video linked here will take you to a or will show you how to use my channel in order to find what you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.